It's me, Toma VTuber Tomato Girl that likes to sing, scream, and never shuts up. Today, we're gonna be talking about my first ever WeebCon experience. First time ever going to Texas. So I've put together a little bit of a slideshow so that you guys can take notes because there will be a final exam and if you fail, you will die. Hi, I'm Toma VTuber and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. We've got day zero. This is when we were traveling to Texas and I traveled with Tob and Suko to go to Texas together and we first arrived at the Gaylord Ally by the way and I had no idea that it was like a fancy hotel I just heard let's go to Texas and I said okay sure get into the hotel we get our little badges so there's my badge right here and we also got secondary exhibitor badges just so that we're recognized as people that are there for business and not just funny funny anime girls we decided to check in at the front desk to get our hotel rooms for the trip so please tell me why we open the door and we're like oh there's one bed for our room we are really not beating the allegations, really not beating any of the potential fan fiction. Why is it that every single person and their mom has multiple beds and I have one bed with Suko VTuber? Shout out Logan under Uwu Market. He came up to us and was like, hey, one bed? Is that okay? And we just both looked at each other and we we're like, two? One? Should we fight for one or two? Two? One? I... And then Logan's just looking at us and he's like, Gage? I guess one bed is okay. We're like, yeah, one bed is okay. And he's like, I perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, I met Rayan and she's very sweet. When I met her, I told her about uh, my experience with Numi VTuber when we went to an amusement park together. I rode onto a slingshot ride and I almost pissed myself. And she was like, oh my God, I also almost pissed myself. That's great to hear. Wow. And she's like, I f***ing hate Numi. F*** that b And I was like, oh my God, ally. <laughs> And that was basically it for day zero. We went back to the hotel and I went to bed a little bit early. Then in the middle of the night, Suko comes back a little bit later because she's out drinking with the girlies while I was sleeping. She turns on the TV, starts playing forensic files while I'm like tipsy and half asleep. The giant horse cup. We've got five pillows on the bed. For some reason, she grabs the pillow under my head and throws it away. So I'm just like half asleep and I'm like, what the f is going, why is she like moving me around? Whatever, I'm just gonna go to sleep. So I keep waking up every once in a while and I just hear the most insane out of pocket comments because of forensic files playing in the background. So I'm half asleep and I hear, the body was found in the ravine 16 feet underground. The police then found the victim. The victim was poisoned. And I was like, what the f what the f am I hearing? I just keep waking up and I look over at her and I'm like, what the hell? Every once in a while she like whimpers in her sleep and she's just like, come here. Come here. And I'm like, yeah, of course you're f***ing whimpering. You're listening to these like documentaries about murder mysteries. Like what the f is going on? We got there looking for where our tables would potentially be. We did not find the line. And then we got scared that that meant that no one was at our meet and greets. And Shock says, Toma, we've been queuing up your line for yours and Suko's meet and greets for the past hour. The line is outside of the door and it's snaking around and it has not stopped. The line is still queuing. Your line is very long. Are you ready to go? You have to go or you're not going to have enough time. And I was like, what? It's a good thing that we have these prints. We had these suck macaw prints, limited edition. And I'm not sure how many there were in there, but it was definitely more than five. The line starts moving, it's really quick. And I start signing my posters and I'm like, you know what? There's no staff here to help me. I'm just gonna give you guys the posters. For the first 10 or so people, everyone was asking me and they're like, oh, is this for free? And I was like, uh, you're getting it for free now. So I just started giving them my free prints and I was like, you're getting a free print now. Yeah, thanks for waiting in line. Thank you so much for waiting for the past hour and a half. Thank you so, so, so much. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do, but it happened. It was really funny how every once in a while, people would ask, hey, can I have a picture? And then me and Suko somehow in complete sync would always say, oh, she's not taking pictures. I am, so you can take one with her. And then I would fall down onto the ground and pretend that I died. I will say our meet and greet was supposed to be from 4 to 5 p.m. Our meet and greet ended at 6 p.m. We got a lot of different gifts and we have a little 
ghetto plush. Suko got me this one. I'm so happy. She got it for me. And then I started sleeping with him. <laughs> and I was telling Suko, like, hey, do you think I can, like, post on Twitter? I finally am getting late tonight. And then just post him in bed. Do you guys, do, do you think that would be a good idea? And Suko was like, I'm pretty sure someone's going to misinterpret that and think that you're actually getting laid. We'd never believe that. Thanks. Then, at night, we went out to eat tacos. And these beef tacos, the steak ones, they come with onions and cilantro on top. And Suko has an allergy to raw onions, and she asked me if the tacos were spicy. So obviously, I'm gonna tell her if it's spicy or not. And I was like, yeah, these are pretty f***ing spicy. This is probably the most spicy taco I've ever had in my life. So I was the one that grabbed the waiter and I was like, hey, she asked for no onions. Can we please get this changed because she's going to die otherwise? And Suko starts eating them and she looks at me kind of weird. And I'm like, what's up? And she's like, Toma? And I'm like, yes. These tacos aren't spicy. Like, I'm gonna start crying. My nose is hurting. My mouth is aching. Everything really, really hurts. This taco is not spicy, Toma. I think you're allergic. I've eaten two of my tacos at this point. And I'm like, damn, this thing hurts. <clears throat> Only to find out that it was the onion in it making me get an allergic reaction. But this is day two of the WeebCon experience. So the day starts with Suko telling me, hey, did you know like last night I had this really crazy dream that Tricky had a massive f***ing c <coughs> and I just jacked her off and I was like, oh my god, I just want to shake her hand platonically. But instead of shaking her hand, she jacked off her pee pee. So what happened to greeting someone with a handshake? Do we have no shame? So we went over to our meet and greet table and we ran out of posters. There were so many of you guys during day one that we ran out of our Sukma Cock posters and I'm sure that there were probably a hundred in that stack. I think my favorite thing is when someone would come up to me and ask like, hey, do you know who I am? And I'm like, I see your name, I know who you are. And they're like, oh, she knows me. And I'm like, I know what you are. I know what you are. <laughs> So me and Suko had plans with the Mafongo boys and Dove. So basically it was a Mafongo fam meetup plus the honorary member Suko, my plus one slash my wife. And they were asking me what I wanted to eat. And I'm pretty like flexible, but I want to have something good, obviously. And they're like, what about tacos? And I was like, I'm going to dig a hole and fall into it and cry myself to sleep if we're eating tacos again. And I'm thinking of like what I could potentially eat. And I was like, oh, I haven't had Texas barbecue. If you're in Texas, you have to have barbecue, right? Like that's like a classic Texan thing. And instantly I realized that Phoenix can't have beef unless it's halal. So he can't have the pork. He can't have the beef. It's his first meal of the day after fasting. And I felt really, really bad. And I was like, oh, f like, I think I f up. So Phoenix is like, it's totally okay. It's totally okay. And he looks at me and he smiles. And he only has the corn on the cob and a baked potato on his tray. And right when I saw it, I started crying. I felt really bad. I'm tearing up right now thinking about it. I feel really bad about it. Um, and that's basically how we ended off our WeebCon trip. And I just want to say a big, big, big thank you to all of you guys that came out. All of the Tomaniacs. Everyone was really, really respectful and very, very sweet. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me thank you if you like this video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and don't forget to tick that notification bell i'll see you next time toma out